Sexual assault is not an easy topic to talk about, but it's incredibly important to be aware of. A bill moving through Jacksonville's City Council this evening would put thousands of dollars towards sexual assault prevention and education. David Jones is on your side tonight with what experts say you need to keep an eye out for and why the timing of this bill is vital, David. Well, we're expecting a vote on this bill any minute here at City Council. The timing, as you mentioned, could not be more important here. The hope is that they can get this money allocated towards sexual assault education just in time for spring break. It's important for survivors of sexual violence to know that they're there's people in the community who care. Those words ring true for UNF Women's Center Director Sheila Spivey. She says it's on us, all of us, to intervene when we see something wrong. The shift with bystander intervention is really taking the onus and responsibility from sexual violence away from the victim because it's not the victim's um, fault or it's not the victim's responsibility to stop violence from occurring. Councilman Rory Diamond agreed. He sponsored a bill that would give $10,000 to the Women's Center of Jacksonville to educate the public as spring break and summer approach. Yeah, so what you'll see is the three, me and the three beaches mayors all out going to every bar and restaurant at the beaches. We're going to put up posters, we're going to have coasters, we're going to talk to all the police departments and ensure that we have training. We're going to do everything we can as, as a local community to take on this terrible problem. And when I talked with the councilman, he said that he fully expects this bill to sail through city council. And if it does, those funds would become available to the Women's Center of Jacksonville by March 2nd. We're live at City Hall. David Jones, First Coast News, on your side.